some quirky things that I discovered since I've moved here to England. They have actual house names here. Not with every single house. Like we, in our block of flats, that's what they call it, or apartment complex, uh, translate back to American English. We have a building and then a number, etc. That's what it's like in America as well. But there are a lot of places, more so in the village or on the outskirts of town, but they have house names. And it's common. So common that when you go to the store and you're you're giving them an address, for example, to have something delivered or ask you your house house name or number. It's kinda cool because they're like, Oh, I'm the I'm the Raven House or something like that. Very Harry Potter of me, like I said, I think. A house in Harry Potter? Raven House? It's not Raven House. Raven Clock. Raven Clock. Yeah, it's something that's super quirky. I I don't remember seeing anything like that in America in any of our travels or anything, except if maybe if it was like an old estate house museum or something. But other than that, normal everyday homes for, for average, the average citizen, that, that definitely stood out to me. Another thing that I found that is weird, unusual for me here is the eggs. They primarily have brown eggs. White eggs are access accessible and everything. Just like in America, where it's primarily white eggs, brown eggs are accessible. It's just the reverse here. But also, the eggs here are not refrigerated. I refrigerate my eggs. I bring them home and I refrigerate them because that's what I'm used to. But <clears throat> there's a lot of people that don't. The stores here don't refrigerate them. I had to ask somebody where the eggs were because I couldn't find them. Because I was looking in all the refrigerated sections and they're not. Um, there and I've seen like farmers just like leave eggs out and I thought I was thinking god damn if it's hot and stuff like is that even okay to eat and I, I wouldn't not try it but it would be nervous that I would get sick <laughs> and not that I think anything wrong with their product necessarily just because it's been sitting out I don't know it's just not something that I'm used to I, I've always always refrigerated my eggs I've never known anyone to not refrigerate eggs until I moved here to the UK to me, that's super, super unusual. One other thing that I found in the culture here that's different from what I'm used to in America is everyone is extremely polite. And I come from the tri-state area, so that might be like a New York, New Jersey thing. Polite to the point where like, you're, you're like, it's okay, you can get mad. It's okay, you can like, raise your voice a little bit if you want. But everybody in, even in, you know, in the shops, in the stores, in the restaurants, even just anyone I speak to on the phone, they're just extremely polite. They, I always, you know, even when they want to put you on hold, they're like, oh, I'm going to put you on, it's okay if I just put you on hold real quick, uh, just for a moment, I'll just be a minute, don't worry, just, I'll only be a minute. Well, in America, they're like, hold please. People are getting up for, you know, a cup of tea or a drink and they ask you in the office if they want one. Pretty nice person. I I always try to be super polite, but it's even a little bit more than I'm used to. Definitely more than I'm used to. <laughs> this next one is going to be kind of weird to talk about, but it's just something that I've noticed. In the UK, it is very easy to find a public restroom if you need it. I'm sure in like the remote areas in the countryside it's probably a little more difficult but even in the villages anywhere that has you know a town center and that kind of thing there's always public toilets and if there's a park there's public toilets. Nobody cares if you go into a restaurant and go into the just use the bathroom. In America sometimes you don't have a lot of access to them and if you do they're closed or they're locked or you have to buy something in order to use it. There are actual signs on the road that say um, public toilets and you can just go in and use them. I think that that is another sign of how the culture here is about community and about taking care of citizens and giving them what they need as opposed to the, the culture in America just isn't like that. It's sad but it's the truth. So another thing that's weird over here for me, um, stores close on Sundays. In America, there are places in like the mall, like retail areas that will close on Sundays at like six o'clock or something like that. It's like a lot of places here, a lot of places, even grocery stores. 
you know, things close down, especially if you, especially if you're in the villages, there are places that don't even open on Sunday. Um, and there are places that'll have a sign out that'll say like, oh, we're open 24 seven, close at six on Sunday. It's strange for me because I'm used to like, if you need milk or bread or something like that, there's always at least a convenience store that's open that you can go and run to or a 24 hour grocery store that you can run to like a, a Walmart or an Asda or something that's open all night long every day. It's very unusual here and here in town I thought it might be a little different but it's not really. I know it's another first world spoiled American kind of view. It's just alien to not to not be able to find something on a Sunday evening if I really need it. 